right at the current moment because it's Absolutely. not a big artist. So. So any bites on that? Again, it's like there's people hearing it. Okay. Uh, but we it can't see much until then. No, I completely understand but we, that. We think we're we're positive on um, a couple what's it, labels that are looking into it. So the agreement is four songs, four videos, correct? That Give or take, is, yeah. Okay, that that's that fair to say. It's yeah, yeah. On, it's on the table. Correct. What happens after the four songs? So, you know, you have, that's, like we were saying earlier, you know, that's one project going on. Okay. Um, that's being pitched around. But then currently, you know, he has songs that he's continuing to write with uh, JP and others. And that's currently, right now we're going through the pipeline, preparing them to release them independently. Any interest in buyers in writing? Uh, we, we have, well, it's hard to say, because the same thing that happened with Chris Royce, uh, we put out, Tons of music or tons or tons of uh, writing sessions into a file, and whenever the label um, shops around, they ask uh, JP for that file. He sends it out, and people just pick whatever. Song. Now I would assume when he sends that file, it's he's not gonna get screwed on that, right? No. It should be trademarked and registered, correct? Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you have to. I think when you think about these artists. Especially like in his case, you have to think about it like, you know, you send this out to a couple hundred or hundred people, and yes, there's a lot of people hearing it, but it's just like what we were talking about. So until the end of the day, when there's the ink and the dotted line, right, and things are done. So that's why it's so difficult to say like an accurate. No, piece, no, I, you know? I completely right. understand that. Yeah. I just wanted the people to kind of understand. Yeah, for sure, it's very confusing. And you know what? I know you. I've I've trained you, and I, I think that for me. <laughs> It's just my, I should tell you to watch your ass, basically, that's what it comes down to. Yeah. And, and you know, there's a lot, look, you've got shafted, what, twice uh, already? No, right. more than that, man, I, I've been shafted so many times. Okay, so, you know, if somebody hearing this can prevent that happening from them, you know, we've already done our due diligence, basically. One big thing is don't ever Western, use Western Union now, not with PayPal and all that stuff. Don't ever do anything like that, no matter what. You know, because people would trust me. There's some people out there. Oh yeah, they're very, very shady. Yeah, that's for so sure. If anyone's listening to this, man, and you, you, if you can take something positive from this podcast, make sure you take that. Be really careful with who you deal with. Absolutely, because it's a very dark Jungle. industry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, of course, man. It's a lot of. Ugliness and this successful. Absolutely. Industry. So, um, I, I assume the songs are being released, or how does that work? So, uh, those songs, uh, we don't really con control the release time on that. Uh, it, that's more into uh, the, the, the label is called Pocket Tone. Uh, so, that they control that, and that's more of a project that we have through them and um, a process that they have. Okay. Uh, as far as our project, which is, uh, I think we, we have about three songs ready to go, and uh, actually this is just me and Renee and JP doing, doing it. Uh, we're, we're looking to drop one song maybe next month. And, and what do you drop at radio, YouTube, uh, uh, Spotify, everywhere. where? Spotify, Apple Music, uh, everywhere. Everywhere, yeah. And everywhere that's free. Yeah, everywhere that's free, and that's the cool part of, again, about being the independent artist right in the beginning. Is that you're, even though you don't have this huge monster that the label might have of a, of a system, you're creating that for yourself. So it's like we have to go in and figure out what DJs to send it to, what clubs can we send it so that someone drunk my Shazam it during the right, night, right? right? Or wherever they're at. So it's like then we have to take that on. But uh, yeah, that's done literally as you can imagine independently. So it's actually probably. It's funny, things are much easier now, but it's two times harder now. Yeah. Because before you would perform and somebody would hear you, hey, uh, here's my card, call me. Mm -hmm. And then the record label would screw you down the road, mm -hmm. but they would get you in. Now, yeah. you gotta like you gotta have grind, payment you and do yeah. a lot of your own work now. Yeah. I mean, I, at one point I was printing, actually I was, <laughs> I was burning CDs, is that how you say it? Yeah. I was burning CDs for like hours just to get them out there and give them out to people. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. You know, you now know. I don't have to do any of that. Everyone just downloads and... Yeah, but I mean, you never know who's going to pick it up. 
That's yeah. the whole thing. And I mean, this isn't even just all, I mean, especially for independent artists, right, trying to make it, but even the biggest artists have this moment, right? You, you look at, like, Happy Song with Pharrell. It took until, like, a year until it really had its moment and peak. You want to hear something Lizzo. interesting about that song? You know how much she made off that song? I can only, I think I heard it's only a couple thousand, no? Dude, he only made $2,700 off of that. Because it got downloaded, because we're talking about this, that's how I know this. So it got downloaded 43 million times out of the 43 million times because they get like two cents a download. He only made $2,700, $2,700, but because he owned the licensing and the rights, when he used it for commercials and other stuff like that, that's where he made his money. Mm -hmm. But still, if he got a dollar for every download, he'd have $43 million in his pocket right yeah. now. To have $2,700, that's like an insult. Yeah. <laughs> no, seriously, if you think about it, like, because I, I heard it at school dances. I mean, that song was everywhere. Like, it got to a point that I was done with it. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm, dude, I'm not happy. I'm fucking angry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that happens you know, a lot, you know? You know what I mean? So, but, you know, but still, yeah, he only got $2,700 off of that. I mean, even Lizzo's last hit, right? Her song... Um, Lizzo? Who's that? She's like, she's been popping. She just like performed at all these award shows. She had the summer song. Oh, okay. If you listen to like pop pop radio, it's like she's been yeah, everywhere. Bro, I don't listen to pop radio. But her I'm song. Actually, I'm, I'm actually going old school. I'm oh, going okay. back to like too short now. Fuck, I'm tired of it. <laughs> but I guess the point with that is even for big artists and small artists, it's not, it's a bigger scale or smaller scale, but they still face that same challenge. Yeah. So. So it's actually a really, really hard industry yeah. now. So, anything in the works now? You still writing? What are you doing? Still writing. Writing a lot. I'm actually, I wrote a song for a, a local uh, local group. They make um, regional mexicano, I want to say. Okay. It's like, uh, it's like banda, corridos. Okay. And they hit me up a while back uh, for a song. They're like, hey, you know, you got, I actually used to work with one of the guys. And uh, I show him some of my songs, and he likes like my lyrics and the way I write. And he's like, well, maybe you can help me just put lyrics into a song. First time ever doing something like that outside of what I do, which is like reggaeton, pop, stuff uh -huh. like that. And he liked what I did. So he actually did a video for that song, threw it out. And, um, you know, they called me again. I'm, I'm, I'm working again on, on some new music for them. I'm, I'm excited. It's something different. But... Have you been paid for it? Uh, yeah. Okay. And, uh, yeah, so, and it's also, uh, I'm registered as, uh, as the main art, uh, the main writer okay. on that, so I have to ask up and Oh, so, so, so there's ways, yeah. <laughs> You're not getting shafted that much. Yeah, 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 yeah <laughs> correct. I mean, I've, I've learned a lot, you know. Like, so let me ask you a question. I've always been interested in this. Where do you get your, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Inspiration. Your inspiration, yeah, yeah, like. Cause that one song, Mama Sita, sounds like you're in love. <laughs> oh, not at all, man. On that song, I, I don't think it's about love. <laughs> well, the first 30 seconds sound like you're in love. <laughs> uh, well, uh, um, it, it's tough to say, man. It's Because it, it, not all my songs are based on my personal experience, you know. Um, None? Uh, not all of them. Some of them some are, of, are okay. special to me. Um, you know, some songs are going to make me cry after hearing them back <laughs> but um uh most of the songs you know like i just have a i would say a gift like an artistic no no, no. Everybody, listen, everybody has a gift you know, whether a, you're a surgeon a singer an artist yeah uh, it, even a personal trainer if you're really that good you have i i said it, i have a gift doesn't tell me where you put me in you tell me somebody's hurt i can fix it I have that touch, you know, so you have a gift as a singer, you know, a writer, you know, so the inspiration just comes to you or, I mean, do you hear the music and you're like, oh, okay, I can, you picture something, I'm kind of trying to get into your head. Yeah, that's, that's, um, so let's say you throw me a word, like, like maybe someone tells me, oh, you know, the easiest way to write for me is if someone gives me a topic and says, I want this song to be about face down ass up. Correct. And I'm like. <laughs> All right, once I get into it, once I get in it, and 
you know, because we all want to get into it. We all want to get into it. <laughs> there we <you> go. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. And, um, <laughs> practice. Yeah. And don't turn around and look at me and tell me I'm doing a good job. <laughs> yeah. There you go. No, but I hear you. So, um, so Melody pretty much inspires you. If you hear the song, you kind of know which way you're going to go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, practically. Yeah, it's, it, I don't know. One of the songs I wrote, I was sitting on the couch a while back, sitting on the couch and thinking, and it just popped out. You know, what's crazy is that I had dreams. Like, I had dreams about making a song. Like, I'm making a song in my dream. And I wake up and I'm like, holy shit, that's a good song. That's your next video. <laughs> I swear to God. You know? But you know what's crazy? Because I do the same thing. I'll be like laying in bed thinking of routines. Like what am I going to do? And I will dream of like seeing the routine. Like a movie. Like I see it like flowing. It's fucking the weirdest thing. But I yeah, can really see it. And the worst now. mistake about when you're dreaming, you know, something, it's happened to me a couple times where I wake up in the middle of the night and I'm like, that was a really good dream. That was a really good song. I should write it. Wake up in the morning. You it's gone. Remember, yeah. I can't remember how it went, but right. I knew it was such a good hook. <laughs> yeah, because that's because you were still sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you man, you I, looked at deep REM four there. Yeah, so <laughs> you just have to stop being lazy when you're sleeping and get up. Get so up are you gonna night. um perform at any little venues or anything? Or uh, um, we're not looking. Um, actually, we're looking to perform all the time, but we don't have anything at the moment. Anything? Uh, um, we just want to around or. No, we just really want to get our music out. We really want to get the, our music out first, and then uh, once usually once music is out, people usually start hitting me up for performances and stuff. But right now, like I, I want to focus on writing and getting that music out because it's okay. being sold out for us. Well, there's more money in writing than there is performing. Yeah, right? right. Yeah, it's like when you hear. I think I was seeing on like Time Magazine or something. It's like the right when you hear a song on the radio. It's the writers that get paid versus the artist more. Right. What's that one song? Um, Dolly Parton wrote. Oh, with uh, with uh, I know exactly. You're talking about uh, Whitney Houston. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Whitney Whitney Houston sang it, but Dolly Parton wrote it, and Dolly Parton got paid on it. Yeah. Well, you get it. Yeah. And when you are the artist and the writer, you get double double royalties. Right. So, so technically, basically, you're a writer first, singer second, singer right? Second. Yeah. Right. <laughs> in the middle, so a little bit, you know. Yeah, 50, 50. <laughs> Yo, so um, how can people find you? Uh, I'm everywhere, man. Instagram, so Give me your Instagram. Tell people your yes, Instagram. Uh, on Instagram, I'm so Z U R I E L X E N. Uh, on YouTube, the same thing. Twitter, everywhere. Uh, I'm also on Spotify and Apple Music. Latest uh, songs, la vida. <laughs> and manager, if you want to contact you, what's your? Uh, yeah, they can just go to also on Instagram, Renee S. Garcia. But um, just hit him up, and it's most likely going to go to me anyway. So cool. Hey, well, thanks up. for coming. Um, you, good I luck. You. I've worked with you before. Looking forward to working with you again. Get that yeah. drive. Well, we got, like, what, three levels left? Yeah, yeah, so that's, IBE, a, that's a nice right? thing. So we're yeah. going to be having that video. Well, body parts are doing. Legs. We got to go legs. Ooh, legs and back, huh? Yeah, we're we gonna do legs. That, yeah. We did back, we did chest, we did shoulders. We should do legs and arms. Yeah, sure. you know, right after, around the time of the posting of this podcast, the series will be coming out. Just, All right, cool. So yeah, we'll do that. I'll be at a, I'll, I'll be at a surgery. So I'll, I'll, I'll do legs with you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> crazy. <laughs> All right, hey, thanks yeah. for coming. Thanks for joining us, and we're out. Bang bang. Bang bang. Do you want to introduce the outro song? What was it? What happened? Do you want to introduce like? The Oh, that song? Play afterwards? Oh, we can. He, he, he can probably, you can probably just add it, no? So if he yeah. says, like, the last thing, guys, we're just going to end on this note. Yeah, actually, yeah. Why, don't we, why don't we play Pasa de la Vida? That's, it's a song that's actually out. People can actually find it. Yeah, yeah. that's why we're going to play it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and back it up a little bit? Oh. Let me, let me say. <laughs> so you what you said before, or you want to just, like, I could just add in black people we go. Uh, I'll say, hey, before we go, just uh, we're going to head out with um, Pasa la Vida. Pasa de la Vida, yeah. But Pasa de la Vida? No, well, he doesn't have to play it right now because he's, I mean, we'll send it to him, but you don't send it. Yeah, 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 I mean, I won't play it, but we'll get the recording. All right.
right, and before we head out, I want you guys to just check out uh, his song that is out now. It's called Pasarela La Vida. Pasarela La Vida. Mm -hmm. There you go. Boom. Cool. There we go. That's a wrap. Perfect. There you go.